Hello, good morning. I hope you are you're fine. I hope you slept well today. So this morning, I'd like to talk to someone. I don't know if you're the person, but I just feel very strongly in my spirit. The Lord wants you to know today that calm is coming back to your situation. There are people right now who are going through a difficult situation, maybe in your marriage, in your school, in your city, in your job, in your health. And it looks like you are crossing a sea and that you are about to drown. Today's gospel reading is for you. Because in this gospel text, taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 8, from verses 23 to 27, the apostles of Jesus and Jesus himself were crossing over to the other side. And there was a storm. And the apostles came to Jesus and said, Master, do something, because Jesus seemed to have been sleeping. And then he said to them, why are you afraid? And then he stood up and spoke to the storm and said, be calm. And everything came back once again to normal. It was calm. And they traveled to their new de destination in peace. So this morning, I'd like to share with you three things on, from this text. The first is that everything happens for a reason. If you find yourself in a situation that looks like you are drowning this morning, it is probably because it is time to move over to another side. In the gospel reading of this morning, the apostles have been on one side of the sea and Jesus had been doing miracles. They have been uh, healing the sick. Jesus has healed most people in the village. And then he tells his disciples, let's move over to the other side. And it was as they tried to move over to the other side to expand the ministry that the storm, the tempest broke out against them. So if you are experiencing a similar situation this morning, know that there is a reason for it. It's either because the enemies are attacking you because you want to go higher, or God himself is allowing it to happen because you have stayed too long on that mountain. God is giving you a signal this morning through that difficult situation that it is time to change location. It is time to change your mentality. It is time to change the way you see the world. It is time to change the way you do business. It is time to change the way you talk to people. It is time to change something. It is time to move over to the other side. The second thing I'd like to say this morning is what Jesus says to his disciples. Why are you terrified? Why are you terrified, child of God, when Jesus is in your boat? One of the things that a Christian should never forget is that the name of God is Emmanuel, God with us. Whatever happens, it is not just in our strength that we go to battle. It is also in the power of the Lord that we go to battle. Because the Lord is with us, nothing can come against us. It's if God be for us, it's St. Paul. St. Paul, who can be against us? So this morning, God is reminding us of his name. Learn to call his name. Emmanuel is his name. God is in your boat. And for your boat to drown, God has to die. And since God cannot die, your boat cannot drown. Child of God, it's important to remind ourselves of these things, that Jesus is in my boat. This boat cannot drown. This company cannot go down. This family cannot go down. Why? Because Jesus is in this boat. The third and the final thing I'd like to say this morning are some words of encouragement. That calm is coming back. Because Jesus does not keep quiet in the face of our troubles. The Bible says this morning he spoke a word and the sea obeyed him and the storm obeyed him. This morning he's speaking a word into your situation, into your business situation, into your family situation, into your health situation, that calm is coming back. If you believe him this morning, if you believe him this morning, calm is coming back. Because that's exactly what he told the disciples. Why are you afraid? Why are you so afraid? O oh, men of little faith. So you see, fear is always that which drives away our faith. So let go of your fear. Believe in Jesus. Hold on to him. Trust him this morning. I know that calm is coming back. May the mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.